Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I have a hydroponics update for you on how to thin out the seedlings that are coming up in your net pots. As I showed you before, whenever I plant seeds in the rock roll cubes, I routinely put more than one seed in there. Why do I do that? So that I can be assured that it, and hopefully at least one of them will come up. I have six net pots here with kale. All this is kale. And I put more than one seed in each one. And that's really important too because I've had those kale seeds for a couple years now. So the germination rate is going to go down. In these three right in the back here, there's only one plant that came up. This one may have another one in the middle, I'm not sure but only one came up. So it's good that I put two or more seeds in there. Now on these three, there's actually two plants in each one. I'll try to make it so that you can see. See, you've got a tall one and a short one in there. So we need to thin them out because only one plant will grow well in each net pot. If you leave two in there, it is not going to be fruitful for you. Neither one will do well because there's just not enough space. So you have a couple options. I've seen some people actually just pull the extra little plant out of there. I personally am afraid to do that because if the roots have gotten intertwined when you pull one up, you might actually pull them both up and damage the roots. They're very, very tender. And so you may have lost your time and your seeds involved in doing that. So I don't pull them out, although you could try it if you wanted to. Another way to do it would be to split your rock wool cube and actually remove one of the seedlings and then reuse it. I will save that endeavor for another video because I really don't want more or need more than six kale plants. So what I'm going to do is just give one the axe in each of these planters. Now, the, the problem is choosing which one. It's hard to know which one is going to wind up being healthier than the other. So you just kind of need to look at them and decide which one you want to keep and which one you want to give the axe to. This one doesn't look quite as healthy as this one. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and just cut it. And that's all I'm going to do. And that will, the rest of that plant will die and then this one will grow. Now in this one, I also have two plants. I think you can see them there. So I have the same choice. What do I want to do? Which one do I want to go with? tough choice. Sometimes I actually opt to cut the taller one because sometimes it can be spindly like this one is on the spindly side. It's very tall. If you can see it, it's very tall. But because I only have one plant coming up that I can tell, there might actually be a second one. If a second one does come up, I might cut off this tall spindly looking one. Now I have a dilemma because as you can see I have roots here and I don't know which plant owns those roots. So I'm going to have to take my chances and just pick one. I actually see some second roots coming up on the taller one. My inclination is to cut the taller one but because I see some second roots I'm going to go ahead and trim the little one. So the little one just got trimmed out. Okay. Now on this third pot, there are two plants and they're on the smaller side. So the question is, which one do I go with? In looking at it, I see that the baby leaves are larger on the shorter plant. Now this is just a guesswork, really. I can't say that that's going to be a healthier plant than the taller one. But I'm just going to go ahead and clip this taller one because the leaves are not quite as large. Now that may be a good move, it may not be. But the ones that have the roots ready to go, I will go ahead and 
plant them, as long as I have two, this one has some roots right here. So I'm going to take those two and plant them, and that will be a subject for another video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.